Lagos, the law allows citizens to become indigents of any part of Nigeria they move to. Tsai Tsai. Amid ongoing public uproar that has greeted the reports of a proposed bill by the Lagos House of Assembly aimed at the protecting aimed at protecting the rights of the indigents in the states. Renowned lawyer and public affairs commentator Barrister Frank Tietier has come out to insist that the Nigerian constitution only gives consideration to citizens of the country and not to indigents. We recall that while being sworn in as the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly on Thursday, Honorable Mudashiru Obasa revealed that he and his colleagues are working on creating a bill that will be favourable to indigents of the states, especially in the areas of owning property and doing business. According to him, the bill became necessary because of the habitual description of Lagos as a no-man's land by a cross-section of non-indigents living and doing business in the states. However, while speaking in an interview on Arise TV's Newsnight a few hours ago, Tietie argued that as far as the constitution that made Nigeria a federating unit is concerned, citizens who settle in any part of the country and adopt the culture of the land are not allowed to take up indigenship of that state. To buttress his points, Frank pointed out the case of two APC chieftains who contested elections in Ogun and Kogi states after occupying elective offices in Lagos. Going further, the renowned lawyer insisted that the law becomes even more valid when it comes to the issue of Lagos, which was once used as the country's federal capital territory. He said, It appears that we are yet to come to terms with the price we pay for being such for being a federation and for allowing such rights as freedom of movement and allowing anybody from any part of Nigeria to settle in a in any part of the country. There was even a Supreme Court ruling that clearly stated that any individual by choice can become an indigent of any part of the country. The definition of an indigent in the Constitution is not quite clear because the law does not make provision for the rights of an indigent, but rather for a citizen. Let's not also forget that Lagos was once a federal capital territory, and the developments it had are a, as a result of that status it once held and the seat of government was once resident there. So, the issue of defining indigence, indigenship, is quite difficult because people can, by choice, claim to be indigents of a place. It is even more sympathetic when you see people like Solomon, Ola Melekan, and James Faleke, who have been represented Lagos in one breath and then moved to Ogun and Kogi states to contest elections. But I must state this. By law, it is quite sufficient for a person to claim residency and indigenship in any part of the country they move to. Well, what are your opinions about this? Leave them in the comments below as I check out what other people have to say about this. Some Igbos are not so good in marshalling their arguments, so the strength of their discussions at the end of the day used to turn out to be watery. Yoruba say Lagos is not no man, but part and parcel of Yoruba land. If any Yoruba man from Kaba or Ondo states build or do business in Lagos states, he is still on the land inherited from Odudua, 
the progenitor of Yoruba race. You mentioned that after Olamile Khan and Falake served a government in Lagos states, they left for Undo and Kogi states to contest elections. Do you need Alafin of Oyo or Uni of Ife to tell that the two concerned individuals bear Yoruba names? Are you unaware that Kaba in Kogi state is a full-fledged Yoruba enclave, not to mention Undo states? Frank should go back to school because he doesn't know the difference between indigenship and residency. Non-indigents cannot contest in any political positions in Igbo land. In their schools, there is difference in the payment of school fees between the residents and the indigents. Non-indigent cannot get work in any of the state's civil service. It happened when Obi was the governor of Anambra State. How come nobody knows how come nobody becomes citizen of Southeast? Even governor of Enugu State was told to go back to Ebony since his great grandfather was from there. So why is it Lagos that the Igbos are bothered about? What's happened to Kano, Katsina, Kaduna, Jigawa, Kebi, Sokoto and Zanfara? Bono, Nigeria and Kwara, what about them? Even during the war, it was Lagos the Biafran army was interested in, despite the fact that it was the North the Northerners that retaliated by killing them. Arise News will always present people from obedience and give them big names. They are always being presented as activists, human rights organization member, etc. He will never present anyone from opposition party. The spokesman, Oseni, will always dabble into issue he is not concerned or connected. Why can't these migrants from the East go back to develop their region? If it is not today, but I know one day, the owner of the house will demand the keys to his house from a tenant. You might cover today by the provisions in the constitution, but one day, the constitution may be suspended. Go home to develop your area. Your bars in the far north and east should be preparing to have a home in the region if anyone had not been put in place. I remember sometimes before the war when Ojuku ordered all his countrymen and women to relocate back home. Elbas or Ijebus can tell all other Yoruba ethnic group to relocate back to their ancestral home. Ghana did it to Nigerians sometimes and nobody queried it. Well, what's our opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your family and friends so they know